Petty. Streamer here with airplanes, bugs, flowers, cars, people, guitars, little bits and pieces of this and that. Then they are those spiders, birds, crawfish, ducks, city streets, buildings, lakes, and trees. What do you think it all means? Soap opera, what? Soap opera, villains, heroes, body work, weird visual stuff, weird oral stuff, music, water, rocks, flying saucers, UFOs, street festivals, confetti, 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 confetti. 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 Okay. okay. Ready? Zeus Elvis. It's a modern interpretation of Zeus and Elvis combined. It's um, the apotheosis of Elvis if he went up to heaven or uh, Mount Olympus. The, uh, it's actually painted on ru really, really rough cut oak and chestnut wood. This is an old uh, egg and dart kind of pressed in molding that I found really fits the motif of the antique classical. The lights are kind of a play on the, the ancient and then the modern combined. The gold leafing really, it brings out the, the gothic kind of uh, kind of sheen and um, Why Elvis? Why not uh, a little Richard or... Uh... Well, Elvis is he's such an icon. He's right up there. I mean, he's a king. He's right up there with Zeus. He's right up there with God, you know. So it's not really hard for your imagination to see the two combined. I mean, a lot of people don't think of Elvis anymore. He's my one of my personal favorite motifs, so... There's no other character, I, I don't think, in modern culture that has, has reached such levels as Elvis. Is that a blue suede guitar? No, it's just kind of a funky metal kind of looking guitar. You can stay where you're at. Okay. I'm moving around. It's kind of, it's kind of a, uh, a modern combined with an antique guitar. It's, it's kind of a piecemeal thing. It's not really a any kind of one kind of guitar. It's just something that would be heavy duty that Zeus would be Zeus Elvis would be handling. Bass guitar or rhythm? <laughs> <laughs> you got me. <laughs> it's probably bass. Uh, did you have more? Really, you had less trouble deciding a pose uh, to put them in uh -huh. compared to uh, the postal service deciding what Elvis stand. <laughs> well, I didn't have to. I didn't have to have a uh, a ballot for this one. I just decided myself and did it. That's one of the great things about creating your own art. You aren't dictated by other people. At least some people hope hope that you're not. Anyway, I'm not. I take comments sometimes, but most of it is my own imagination. This thing puts out some heat too. You know, if you're standing next to it in a wool coat like this, you're sweating after a little while. So will that always be lit while? The... While it's on display. You have someone to change the bulbs if you please. The bulbs. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they blow out, then too bad. Poor man, he was a good artist until he lost three fingers on his right hand. Never could paint with his left. Cupid or Eros, whatever you want to call him. It'll be attached to this this face right here, which I've cut out of copper. So it'll fit in the slot like this. So like that. This face will be painted on this copper. And then I'll have a, like a, an oval halo. Carved, or made out of copper also. Behind his head. This is just a piece of wood I found out in the parking lot at the News and Record. 
newspaper. I just notched it out with a slit in it to fit the copper in. I'm covering with gesso so that I can paint on top of it. These are the uh, the molds to the frames that I'm making to put the, the cupid in or cherub or whatever you want to call it. This is his face. There will be a cherub with a wing and his halo behind this mesh, behind this frame. And it's hard to tell how many years he'll be behind there. It'll really look old when I'm done with it. And you won't be too happy. You can imagine being enclosed in a frame for that long period. These were these molds were made out of uh, they're made out of plaster that I put over top of a uh, clay that I had carved out in the models. And this is taken off of an old entablature from Tholos. It was a Greek um, settlement. I think in Turkey. But I just copied the basic ornaments and acanthus leaves and the vines, flowers. Of course, this is a negative of it. Once I pour the mold, I'm, I'm going to make it out of Bondo, like plasticine. So it'll be a positive of this image. And I'm going to make a box about three inches deep to put all this in. I think it's important to go through the procedures of preserving. You have to really think about longevity and how long things will last if you don't protect them in the right way. And the gesso should preserve this for at least my lifetime. Once it's protected with gesso, I can paint over it with the my name is Matt Myers, artist, uh, local artist for in the Greensboro area. And um, recently, I went to Italy for six months. Me and my wife spent uh, some time with two Italian families. Uh, one Italian family sponsored us to uh, uh, to teach them English. Laura, my wife, is uh, an English major and or a education major, <coughs> and she taught the family English with my help. Uh, mainly, my my reason for going is to uh, is to learn the art and go to the museums and travel. Uh, that was the best part of it. And during our, our travels there, we were able to meet another man who sponsored me to come to his house and paint and um, just hang out and, and see all the local things. It turned out to be a really great opportunity for me because I had two shows while I was there. Oh, my God.